Target's having a hell of a week. In the span of just five days, the big box store lost more than $9 billion off its market cap. After America found out, they partnered with a trans Satanist to sell tuck-friendly swimsuits to kids. The company went into crisis mode and said they were pulling their pride line off the shelves. It turns out they just moved the clothes to the back of the store. We found the pride section. It's in the very back of the store. It's been completely rearranged. And I didn't think that these were true. Look closely. It says light binding effect for light binding. I'm glad they moved it to the back of the store because no kid should be seeing this in front. Here's the tucking one piece bathing suit hidden in the back. And here's another one. Here is the, the tucking bottoms. And now this. We just found out Target funneled millions of dollars to a group that lobbies school districts to secretly transition students without notifying parents. But if you hear this and don't want to shop at Target anymore, that makes you a terrorist. If you're Target and you cave here, this is a slippery slope because this anti-LGBTQ movement, they're not going to stop here. They want to sue every company out there. This is economic terrorism, literally terrorism, creating fear among the workers and forcing the corporations to sell the things you want, and not sell the things you don't. You heard that right. Not shopping at Target is literally terrorism. Well, the last time I checked, the left loves boycotts. Chick-fil-A is religious boycott. Spotify signs Rogan boycott. Elon Musk buys Twitter a boycott. Goya, CEO, meets Trump. Boycott. Hobby Lobby doesn't like abortion. Boycott. Texas passes a heartbeat bill. Boycott. North Carolina does a bathroom bill. Boycott. Georgia does voter integrity. Pull the baseball all-star game. And don't you dare buy that pair of pants made in Israel. Now, it's fine when the left does it, but complaining about Target? Literally terrorism. Remember the summer of love? When looters ransacked targets across the country, the left loved it. You remember the articles in defense of looting. (laughs) By the way, MSNBC, looting is actually economic terrorism. So for those of you following at home, the left would rather you loot Target than not shop there. Now, I'm also old enough to remember how the left used to hate big box stores. They're driving mom and pop shops out of business. But now the left loves big box. They forgot all about mom and pop. Why? Because mom and pop shops can't bankroll millions for kids' gender surgeries. Big Box just bought off the left and just got hit with the woke backlash. Will they regret it? 